ndugu wa Kenya hamjambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Asalamu alaikum Hebu mnisalimie hewani hivi asanteni sana na tafadhali mnaweza kuketi chini Thank you very much Kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni mshukuru Mungu kwa kutufikisha masaa haya ya mwisho wa mwaka wa 2022 Ni washukuru nyote mlifika hapa leo jioni hii ni washukuru wa Kenya wote pale mahala popote walipo wanao tusikiza katika hali mbalimbali na niseme ya kwamba tumefika hapa leo katika masaa haya tuweze kuvuka mwaka pamoja tunajikumbusha kwamba mwaka huu ulipoanza tulikuwa na changamoto nyingi mambo ya ugonjwa wa corona ilitupatia changamoto ugonjwa ambao ulileta maafa na matatizo mengi sio Kenya sio bara letu lakini dunia nzima tukawa pia na changamoto ya mambo ya drought kukosekana kwa mvua ikaleta matatizo makubwa tukawa pia na shida ya ukosefu wa usalama sehemu nyingi ya dunia hii Ukraine Russia hapa DRC kule South Sudan majirani zetu hapa Somalia lakini Mungu ametunusuru na ametufikisha mwisho wa mwaka wa 2022 tunamshukuru Mungu jameni kwa sababu ametufikisha hapa mbali na zile changamoto zote God has made it possible for us to see the dying moments of the year 2022 as a people as a nation, and I want to thank God for each and every Kenyan that today we are celebrating this evening the few moments of the year 2022. Vile vile tulikuwa na mtiani mkubwa wa uchaguzi katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na nasimama hapa mbele yenu kwa heshima kubwa kuwa shukuru wa Kenya wale wote tulienda katika uchaguzi tukachagua ma MCA tukachagua wabunge maseneta governor na mimi pia nikabahatika mkanichagua kama rais pamoja na deputy wangu nasimama hapa mbele yenu kusema asante sana Asante sana kwa kutupa nafasi mimi na wenzangu tuliochaguliwa na wao katika nyathifa mbalimbali mbali. na kuahidi ya kwamba mimi kama rais nitaungana na viongozi wenzangu ma MCA wabunge ma senator ma governor ili tushughulike na mipango ya, ma, ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya. And I want to commit myself as I did that we are going to work together with all leaders elected at all levels so that we can focus on the development, the progress and the prosperity of our nation together as leaders. Najua ya kwamba wachache wetu mbali na kuwa na mirengo tofauti tofauti ya kisiasa ambayo ni kawaida ya demokrasia wachache wetu walijaribu kutugawanya kwa mirengo ama kwa sehemu za ukabila mimi namshukuru Mungu ya kwamba wale waliojaribu kutugawanya kama vikundi ya kikabila hawakufaulu 
na nawashukuru wa Kenya wote kwa sababu walikataa walikemea na sote pamoja tukashinda njama za ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya na tukawa na uchaguzi ambao ulikuwa na mambo mawili ya muhimu ya kwanza tulikuwa na uchaguzi ambao ulizima mambo ya ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya na jambo la pili tukawa na uchaguzi ambao ulikuwa ni historia kwamba tulikuwa na uchaguzi wa amani katika taifa letu la Kenya na kwa msingi huo wa kuunganisha wa Kenya na kuondoa ukabila katika siasa zetu na katika msingi wa kuweka amani katika taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwaambie wa Kenya huo msingi mimi na wenzangu hawa ambao wamechaguliwa pamoja na mimi katika sehemu mbalimbali tutajenga juu ya hiyo msingi kuhakikisha ya kwamba sote tunaungana kama taifa na tayari nimewaambia wale wote wanaofanya kazi pamoja na mimi kutoka assistant chief mpaka regional commissioner askari wetu wote nimewaambia ya kwamba katika taifa letu la Kenya tuko na viongozi ambao wako katika upande wa serikali tuko na viongozi ambao wako katika upinzani lakini hawa wote ni watumishi wa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na nimewaambia ya kwamba lazima kila kiongozi aheshimiwe mahali amechaguliwa kila mmoja wetu tujue ya kwamba hakuna viung, hakuna wananchi wa upinzani na wa serikali wananchi wote ni wananchi wa taifa moja taifa la Kenya na sisi kama viongozi tulio upande wa serikali na tulio upande wa upinzani sote ni wafanyikazi wa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na na waomba viongozi wote katika safari hiyo tujue ya kwamba sote tunawatumikia wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya ile kazi tu imegawanywa ni kwamba kutakuwa na wale wanaendesha serikali na kutakuwa wana wale wanasahihisha hiyo serikali ili tuweze kuwa na uadilifu katika uongozi wa taifa letu la Kenya na tuweze kushughulikia mambo yanayofaa wananchi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya jambo la pili napenda kuwauliza nyote kwamba sisi tumekula kiapo na tumekula kiapo kusema ukweli na kuendesha mambo ya taifa letu la Kenya kulingana na katiba na sheria ya taifa letu na kwa sababu hiyo kuna maamuzi ambayo ni lazima tuyafanye maamuzi ambayo kwa kawaida pengine sio maamuzi ambayo ni popular katika ile ambayo inasemekana and i want to say this very categorically that as president and as leaders we are going to make the decisions that are necessary for us to make progress as a nation when i came in the office i had to make difficult decisions about our economy because we were not doing well and we need to change the foundation of our economy i found that there were decisions that were made for political expediency for that time because we had an election and the decisions about some subsidies in unga subsidies in fuel subsidies in electricity that were not informed by the science of our economy but were informed by the expediency of the political moment that existed at that time we've had to do away with those subsidies because otherwise they would cost our economy big time we would be spending close to 25 billion shillings every month to subsidize some of the projects or programs that were set out 
We did away with those subsidies in August, and I am happy that we have saved our economy huge amounts of money, and we are now well on the way to making sure that we invest in the areas that will drive our economy in a sustainable manner. <clears throat> Let me inform my good countrymen that we agreed that we are going to build this economy from bottom going up. And we have started that journey by making sure that our economy is founded on sound economic policies that will stand the test of time today, tomorrow, and the years to come. And that is why I am very confident that we have now laid the foundation that will take our economy away from dependence on debt to dependence on revenues that are raised by taxpayers in Kenya. Na waambi ya ndugu zangu wa Kenya, hatu wezi kuendesha taifa letu katika msingi wa kukopa madeni. Mzee Mwai Kibaki alitufundisha ya kwamba msingi ambao unafaa kwenye uchumi ni msingi ambao unajengwa na ushuru na revenues ambazo wa Kenya wenyewe wanazitoa. Mimi nataka niwaambie wa Kenya tayari tuko na dalili mzuri ya kwamba mwaka mmoja ijayo tutakuwa tumeongeza mapato yetu kutoka trilioni mbili mpaka trilioni tatu. Na hivyo hivyo kufikia miaka mitano we will have doubled our revenues so that we can build our economy on the sound footing of our own revenues collected locally rather than being trapped in debt. So tunaendelea hivyo sisi wote na haya ni mambo ya muhimu na ni lazima tuambiane ukweli ndio tuweze kujenga taifa letu sio kwa siasa ya muda mfupi lakini kwa msingi wa uchumi ambao utatufikisha mbali vile nilivyosema tunajenga hii uchumi na maendeleo yetu tukianzia chini tayari tulikubaliana na nyinyi kama wa Kenya ya kwamba tutaanza kuangazia uchumi ya wananchi wa, wa, walio na uwezo mdogo na ndio sababu tayari tumeweka hustler fund ambayo kufikia leo wa Kenya wamekopa zaidi ya bilioni 20 kuendesha biashara zao pale chini na hiyo fund tutaiongezea kila mwezi mpaka tuhakikishe kwamba yule mkenya amekopa shilingi 500 ataweza kukopa shilingi 1500 tukiendelea mbele na vile vile kufikia mwezi ujao tutaanza awamu ya pili ambayo itashughulika na mambo ya sacos itashughulika na mambo ya eh, vyama na mambo ya cooperative ndio tuweze kupatia nafasi kila mkenya aweze kujijenga kibiashara aweze kukopa kwa riba ya chini na aweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba wale ambao wamekuwa wakihangaisha wa Kenya kama mabroka na makatel na wale mashailok sasa itawabidi watafute biashara ingine. kwa sababu hapo tutakuwa tumeshughulika pamoja na nyinyi vile vile nimekubaliana na magavana ya kwamba wa Kenya wengi wanaoishi katika vitongoji duni ambaye inaitwa slums na sehemu zingine informal settlements tumekubaliana ya kwamba every year tutajenga nyumba elfu mia mbili. na tayari nimekubaliana na governor wa Mombasa ya kwamba program ya nyumba elfu kumi za Mombasa tuanze kuipangia tayari inajengwa saa hizi nyumba elfu arobaini tutaanzisha singine mapema mwaka huu nitakuwa nakuru nitakuwa bungoma nitakuwa um, kule homabay nitakuwa hapa Mombasa 
na sehemu zingine za Kenya kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunawapa nafasi wa Kenya ambao wako na mapato ya chini kuweza kuwa na nyumba ya shilingi elfu tano, shilingi elfu kumi, alipe sio rent lakini alipe mortgage ili baada ya miaka kumi na tano, miaka ishirini, nyumba pia awe ndio mwenye nyumba, nyumba ni yake vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya kuteremusha ama kushusha gharama ya maisha ni lazima tushughulikie mambo ya chakula wananchi wengi wananiuliza maswali kuhusu mambo ya chakula na ni vizuri niajibu yale maswali ya kwanza ni kwamba njia mwafaka the permanent solution towards matters of reducing our cost of food is not subsidy it is to support our farmers to produce more food na ndio tumekubaliana ya kwamba mwaka huu tayari katika hapa Mombasa tuko na tan 1200 ya mbolea ambayo itasaidia wakulima wetu kuanzia mwezi ujao tuhakikishe ya kwamba wakulima wetu wanapata msaada wa kuzalisha chakula ndio chakula ipatikane kwa bei nafuu ndio tuondoe shida na matatizo ya chakula kuwa bei gali nambari ya pili tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutatumia ardhi ya serikali ama mashamba ya corporations ya serikali agricultural development corporation agricultural finance corporation nys prisons um, na vitengo zingine zote zenye ardhi kuhakikisha kwamba tunapata ardhi karibu ekari elfu mbili ya kuzalisha chakula na kuzalisha mbegu ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba kuna mbegu ya kutosha tuwe na fertilizer ya kutosha ndio tuzalishe chakula ya kutosha tuondoe kabisa aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya na vile 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 mumesikia tuko na mpango maalum tutaanza bwawa la kwanza katika ile program yetu ya um, private public partnership kuanzia mwezi wa tatu mwaka huu ili tuweze kujenga mabwawa moja sa kwanza na tano baadaye kuhakikisha kwamba tunatega maji ya kutosha tuna harvest maji ya kutosha ndio tuweze kushughulika na matatizo ya maji ya matumizi nyumbani maji ya mifugo zetu na maji pia itatumika na wanyama na vile vile maji itakayotumika na irrigation tuweze kuzalisha chakula tuweze kupeleka taifa letu mahali ambapo hatutakuwa na matatizo ya njaa mumesikia muhubiri hapa amesema ya kwamba ni ile makosa sisi binadamu tumefanya tukaribu mambo ya mazingira mpaka ikatokea janga hata wanyama wasio na hatia wanakufa kwa sababu ya ile makosa sisi binadamu tumefanya asara tumelete ya mambo ya mazingira na ndio mimi nakubaliana na governor wa hapa Mombasa nimekubaliana na yeye vile amesema ya kwamba hapa Mombasa akiajiri mtu mmoja nitamuajiria mtu mwingine mmoja kwa kiajiri watu elfu moja, nitaajiri watu wengine elfu moja. waweze kusaidiana kusafisha Mombasa na vile vile kuweka hali ya mazingira hapa Mombasa hapa Mombasa peke yake ni vizuri tuwe, uh, tuweze uh, kuweka miche ama miti zaidi ya milioni kumi hapa Mombasa Island ndio tuhakikisha kwamba hii Mombasa Island inakaa vile inapaswa so that we can have the environment in Mombasa to change and i want to assure the governor of Mombasa a very hard working young man my good brother that we are going to work together as i will work with other governors to make sure that matters environment are not matters political they are matters life and death let me also say that because our human capital is the biggest asset we have as a nation utenda kazi ya wa kenya 
inajulikana ni maarufu kila mahali nimeenda nchi nyingi na nchi hizo zote wanatambua utendakazi na bidii ya wakenya kazini na ili tuweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba we sharpen that human capital ndio sababu tumesema ni vizuri turekebishe mambo yetu ya masomo tumeweka task force ya kushughulika na mambo ya masomo masomo ya primary masomo ya secondary masomo ya tvet masomo ya university na ningependa kuwatangazia wa Kenya ya kwamba hiyo transition we will make sure that that transition works in the best interest of ensuring that we have the best and the most qualified human capital that is going to work anywhere in Kenya and work anywhere in the world it is our intention to build a world class human capital using our education system and that is why we have set out this january we are going to hire an additional 30000 teachers to make sure that our primary to junior secondary transition is faultless we are also going to hire another 3000 tutors to take care of our tvet institutions because in tvet we have the best human capital that is tailored towards the sciences the mathematics and the areas that are going to lead us to engineering because that is the future that we are looking for apart from hiring teachers for our junior uh, for our primary and junior secondary we're going to hire also as i have said 3000 teachers or tutors for our tvet institutions we're going to equip another 70 tvet institutions we will spend 15 billion shillings to make sure that we have the equipment that will assist in the training of our tvet students to make sure that we prepare them for the jobs of tomorrow and the future i also want to give our assurance that from the presidential task force we are also going to sort out the challenges our universities are facing we know many universities are facing serious debts because of the expanded nature of the program we're going to focus on ensuring that our universities also are given attention so that they can teach quality uh, courses and ensure that the students get the best attention that a university is supposed to give let me also conclude by saying the following that we did commit that we are going to transform our in industrialization manufacturing agro processing value addition trajectory in the last 10 years our manufacturing has gone backwards from 9% of gdp to 7% of gdp we have agreed that we are going to change the trajectory and we have a 20 by 30 plan that by 2030 20% of our gdp will be contributed by industrialization manufacturing agro processing and value addition and along that line mombasa naivasha and at the river will be the epicenter of our program on ensuring that our special economic zones contribute to our manufacturing endeavor i have already instructed that the dongo kundu program that was supposed to be ready by 2028 be brought forward to 2025 as i made a commitment to the people of mombasa that we are going to do something about the port we have already done what we promised about the port so that we can bring back mombasa the way we knew mombasa as it was and i want to promise the people of this great county that we are going to work with you
to make sure that we unlock the huge potential for manufacturing, for agro-processing, for our tea, for our coffee, and all the areas that are necessary so that Mombasa and the special economic status it enjoys gives us the benefit of employment and of value addition for all our agro-processing. I also want to commit that the industrial city in Naivasha is going to be the epicenter for all our production in leather, in textile, and in all the other areas so that we can make the best use of the SGR and make sure that it gives us the benefit it is supposed to give. Mimi nataka ni wakikishie ya kwamba wakati tunaelekea hiyo safari, sote tutakuwa tumeungana, sote tutakuwa tunafanya hiyo kazi tukishirikiana, na mimi nataka muelewe ya kwamba hiyo safari haiwezi kutekelezwa na wachache. Haiwezi kutekelezwa na mtu mmoja. Itabidi zote tuungane na ndio sababu na wauliza viongozi wote na wauliza ndugu zetu walio katika bunge mutoe mchango wenu katika bunge wale walio katika senate wafanye na hivyo magovernors wenzangu ambao wanafanya kazi kama governors wafanye sehemu yao na sisi kama serikali ya kitaifa tutashirikiana pamoja na wote tuhakikishe kwamba tunawaunganisha wa Kenya mimi nataka ni wahakikishie vile vile ya kwamba ndugu zetu walio katika upinzani mimi ninafurahi ya kwamba leo tuko na ndugu zetu ambao wanashughulika na kazi ya upinzani hiyo ni kazi ya muhimu kwa sababu inaweka serikali iliyoko katika mahali ambapo wanajua wanafanya kazi na wananchi wanahitaji kujua kazi yao imefika wapi ile mimi nilikataa ni kwamba tuendelee na ile mambo ya zamani ya kujaribu kuchanganya upinzani na serikali ikosekane mtu wa kusema mambo yameenda kombo i am very happy that today we have a working opposition that speaks to us from the opposition benches that looks at what is not going right and tells us what is not going right that is a functioning democracy and that is what is what the kenya what the people of kenya wanted in our constitution we must not work at cross purposes and we will not take offense of what the opposition says whether it is right or not right it is for the people of kenya to judge what i am happy about is that today we have a functioning democracy and that is how it should be hakuna haja ya kusumbuana mimi na nganana pande hii na mambo ya kuendesha mambo ya serikali wale ndugu zetu pia wanangangana upande ile na kusukuma mambo ya upinzani hiyo ni mambo mzuri sana tuendelee namna hiyo kenya iweze kwenda mbele na wakenya watafaidika hapa katikati sote tuungane katika kushughulikia mambo ya wakenya mimi nataka nimalizie kwa kusema ya kwamba nimefurahi sana kufika mji huu wa Mombasa nataka niombe wabunge wenzangu ama wabunge ndugu zangu tusaidiane katika mambo ya mazingira climate change is a reality we are living the nightmare of drought that we have never seen in 40 years we have lost two and a half million livestock we have lost even wildlife as pastor here said innocent creatures that have committed no wrong but because of the activities of humankind we have a drought situation that is hurting every aspect of our life and even if there was no climate change making sure that we plant trees everywhere is still the right thing to do let me ask every Kenyan, wherever they are, this is the moment to participate in ensuring that we manage our situation, our climate situation, we manage our environment appropriately, ensuring that we plant trees 
everywhere, including your home state, at any moment, every time. I think it is correct to say to plant trees, there is no correct time. Any time you should be able to plant trees. And I want to tell all the counties that I'm going to work with them. I'm going to work with every county. We have a plan with the ministry uh, that is responsible for environment to ensure that we build the momentum around planting trees and ensuring that ke every Kenyan is involved in this drive. And we are going to hire enough young people to help us drive as the environmental league to ensure that our country, we rid ourselves of the challenge that we currently have of climate change. Finally, even as we mind about our country, it is correct for us to understand that we have a region to also mind. We have challenges in our region. We have challenges in Somalia. I had a chat with the president of Somalia the other day, about two, three days ago. I received a message today from the president of South Sudan. I spoke yesterday with the president of DRC Congo because they want us as a country to assist them in their own challenges of insecurity in their countries and political challenges in their countries. And I want to ask us, as the people of Kenya, to pray for our neighbors, to be available for us to support our military as they do uh, provide security in DRC, as they provide security in, um, in Somalia, and even as we work with our brothers and sisters in South Sudan for the good of our region, and even as we uh, speak with our friends in Ethiopia. All of us are in this region, and as was said by somebody, there is a reason why we are the leaders, we are the people in Kenya at this point in time, and we need to work together. Um, pengine tu ni muambie nili, nili, nilisikia eh, mubiri ya lituombea na kaombea hii serikali ya Kenya. Mimi nataka ni muambie serikali ambayo hiko sio yangu binafsi. Serikali ni yetu sisi zote. There is only one government of Kenya. I happen to be the leader today, but the government of Kenya remains the government of Kenya, and it belongs to all of us, and it is our government. So let us continue to pray for our government so that it serves the people of Kenya in the manner in which it is meant uh, to serve. Nataka ni malizi hapo na niwashukuru sana. Niliona vizuri nionge kabla ya kufika wakati ambao tuta tuta uh, tuta celebrate kufuka mwaka. Mimi nataka ni waambie nini mulio hapa na wale wote wa Kenya walio sehemu mbalimbali za taifa letu la Kenya. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Natazamia kufanya kazi na nini wote kushugulika na mambo ya Kenya pamoja na wa Kenya wote na sote tuweze kuchangia mahali ambapo tunaweza kwa mahali kwa kiasi ambayo tunaweza katika kusukuma kurudumu la taifa letu liende mbele kwa sababu hapo ndipo uwezo wa kila mmoja wetu unahitajika nitachukua sasa nafasi hii niulize bandi yetu ya polisi wa kukaribia hapa wa kukaribu Na niulize pia ile kwaya ilikuwa hapa, wakuje hapa. Ndiyo tuweze ikifika saa ile saa sita. Tuweze kuimba ile wimbo ambayo na sote na pili tutasimama wakati huo. Tuweze kuimba ile wimbo ya ule jamaa na itua Ruben Kigame. Ambaya alikuwa hiya meti yangu kule university. Na ni mutu ya, ki, ni mutu ya mji wangu wa Eldoret maali mina toka. Lakini ya meimba wimba mzuri sana, sindio? Kwa sababu bado tuko na dakambili ya matatu ama tano, wacha ni muite eh, mama recho wakuje hapa, awasalimie, na tuombe, ndio ikifika hiyo saa sita, 
tuweze kufanya hiyo celebration wakati anakuja waja ni watambue wale wanafanya kazi pamoja na mimi katika executive ya national niko na waziri Penina Malonza waziri wa tourism yuko hapo niko na waziri wa madini na blue economy waziri mvuria salim kutoka hapa kwale na niko na pss can all the pss stand up please hawa wote ni makatibu katika serikali yetu ya kitaifa uh, asanteni sana uh, makatibu thank you very much and then we have uh, the rest of the administration and everybody asanteni sana asante sana rais wetu rais wa jamhuri ya kenya ningependa kuwasalimu nyote katika jina la bwana wetu yesu kristo hamjambo hamjambo tena happy new year kwanza kabisa nitachukua nafasi hii kuwakaribisha hapa State House Mombasa nafikiria mumekuwa na wakati mzuri na tunasema asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ametupatia nafasi kufika hapa ili tuweze kusherekea mwaka mpya pamoja wacha niseme Mungu amekuwa mwema kama vile rais wetu ametuambia na pia muhubiri wetu wa leo na viongozi wetu ambao wameweza kusimama siku ya leo Mungu amekuwa mwema katika mwaka ambao unaelekea kuisha mwaka wa 2022. Tumeuona mkono wa Bwana na jambo ambalo nilikumbuka jioni ya leo wakati nilifika hapa. Niliangalia a, mwaka wa 2022 na nikaona neema na utukufu wa Mungu. Na jambo ambalo Mungu alinikumbusha ni kwamba tusisahau mahali tumetoka kawaida ya binadamu pengine unaweza kupata furaha unapoendelea mbele na usahau mahali Mungu amekutoa mimi ningependa kuwasii wa Kenya wote siku ya leo kwamba hata wakati tunaelekea mwaka wa 2023 tusisahau mahali Mungu ametutoa na ujiulize ni nini ilikufanya ukafaulu hata kwa mahali umetoka na mimi jambo la muhimu ambaye najua kwamba Mungu ametuwezesha ni kwa ajili ya maombi na kwa ajili ya kumwamini yeye kwa hivyo tunapoelekea huu mwaka mpya tusisahau mambo ya maombi tusisahau mambo ya kumtegemea Mungu kwa kila hali na katika maisha yetu kwa hivyo wakenya wote na watakia uh, mwaka mwema mwaka wa fanaka mwaka wa furaha mwaka wa kuweza kufaulu kwa mambo yote ambaye tutafanya na Mungu atatutendea mema Ningependa tu kumalizia nikisoma neno la Bwana kutoka kitabu cha Zaburi um, 86 mstari wa 12 The Bible says I give thanks to you O Lord my God with my whole heart and I will glorify your name forever Kwa hivyo tuendelee na neno la shukrani and let's continue to glorify the Lord I know that the Lord is going to help us to do great. God has blessed us with a president that is looking into the welfare of the Kenyans as he has told us this evening and I just want to request that let's continue to pray for the government, let's continue to pray for all the leaders and I know that as a nation God is going to do us good. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord make his face shine upon each of you Kenyans and even as we continue to pray for the region god bless you we love you god bless you aya wapi ule soloist wapi ule soloist mwenye alikuwa na atakuja hapa okay can eh yeah yeah we stop uh, come and do the uniachi where is the soloist the, the fellow would karibu hapa madam Maybe you can uh, uh, or they can sing from there or here? Sing from here from there your excellency from there from the band Okay Give us the song <laughs> Give us the 
So please welcome my wonderful ministry friend, Gloria Muliro. Thank you. 